Hello, Mario! AutoCAD Basic 17.6 Modifying Tables. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. In this instructional video, we're going to be modifying tables. So let's get on with it. So here we are at AutoCAD, and we're going to be working in. Um, a file occupancy 1 a.m. So file open drawing and here it comes occupancy 1 a.m. And here is the drawing. Okay. All right. Zoom into the table area in the drawing. Okay. All right. So there it is there. And um, that pretty much looks like the table that we created in the last one, except it's not the one I created, but it's the one they created. So if I stuffed up, that's uh, how it all went. So interesting that the areas are different. I'm a bit intrigued by that, whether it's a scale issue or what. Um, oh, yes, I know what it is. Um, my the plans that we're using are metric of course and so yes yes i think i understand right and so they're working in square feet all right select the table hold control and drag the square grip of the area column okay the square grip of the area column hold down control square grip of the area column to the right to increase the area okay like that to increase the area of the column width while also stretching the table okay so the tables also got bigger so if we hold down the control button and that's made the column bigger and the table bigger. Click on the last row and use the bottom grip to make it the same height as the other rows. Okay. So that's sort of, I guess that's it there. I'm just guessing, but I don't, it seems to be all right. So, yep, I think we've done that all right. Yeah, so we just grab that one there. All right, well, that so far so good. Select the row, select row two of the table. Um, oh, is that all of row two? I don't know. Okay, select row two of the table. In the table cell contextual rows panel, click insert above oh select row two of the table escape so we can oh we can go here and then we can select row two like that using that ah that's what they're getting at and um we want to in the file um insert above which is up over here insert above right yes and fill in the first cell of the new row with the text first floor. So F I R S T F L O R first floor. Okay, which we've put in there. Select the newly select created row two, right click and select merge by row. So Oh, yes, there it is there. Right click. Oh, does that do anything? No. Select row two. Mm. No. That, there's. That's row two there. Select row two. Um, and then select merge by row. Okay, so there we've got merge here merge by row so i've dropped that down there merge by row and that's yeah put the first 
um, and um, with the still selected, with the row still selected in the table cell, uh, yes, contextual cell styles, expand the table cell styles list and set the table style to title as shown, okay. So what were we going to select? Table cell styles list. It's table cell. Oh, table cell. Okay, styles list. Oh yes, here it is here. And um, what do we want to select? Title. None. No, that's colors. Table cell styles by row by column. Is it title? Okay. Select title. Yeah, which we've done. Set the style to, type, to title. Okay. All right, so that seems to be, yeah, but it won't won't do anything beyond that. What's going on there? There's showing in there, which we've got that done. But we seem to have got a bit of a problem here. We're frozen. Escape, escape, escape. Oh dear. Not good. So, how do we deal with that? Mm. She's all locked up. Let's try something. No, that's not working. So, I think our AutoCAD has Control Out Delete. Um, task manager um, and we're going to go AutoCAD application there end task alright so then we're going to have to start our AutoCAD up again um, so that Didn't go so well. Um, we'll keep. I'm um, keep keep rolling. Keep the cameras rolling. Okay, AutoCAD. So yeah, here it is. Here AutoCAD English. So let's uh, start it up again. Okay, so it'll take some time for it to start up. Um, you can see I'm loading some things there up into. Um, that's the previous videos are loading up into um, YouTube. All getting ready. So uh, let's uh, see how this one goes. All right. Okay. Now, what's going on there? That can go there like that. Here's our AutoCAD here. And um, you can see that it's got Drawing Recovery Manager. Your previous work terminated unexpectedly so we can get a backup file from here here it is here and so um, yep let's uh, see if we can get that up and going yep okay so there we go and um, yep I think we're um, pretty much where we started <laughs> Where we started with, um, as far as I can see. So, um, oh well, well, we'll just click on here and we'll select row two. Uh, insert above. Um, click row two there. Uh, merge, I think it was. Merge by row. And uh, in here. Um, oop. Cell two, first floor. Mm -hmm. 
I think we've got that in there. That's all selected. Um, okay, um, let's let's select that again, and let's go with our style here, which is title. Okay, and this time, yep, yeah, that's I think that's how it all pretty much how things went um, with the row still selected title select the bottom row of the table to and insert above I think this one here um, is also that one there also should be um, title as well so I'm going to do that like that so that's got it pretty much looking like that um, all right, select the bottom row in the table cell, contextual tab, rows, parallel, click, insert below 11 times. The last number displays is 22. Oh, we've got it. We wanted to um, get this row here to be the same height as all the others. So that just goes up. Um, oh, was that how we did it? Oh, yeah, like that, I think. Yep, so that's all good like that. So now, select the bottom row in the table cell contextual rows panel, click. Okay, so this is the bottom row. And um, we want to um, yep, and the last number displays is 22, so that's insert below. So Uh, insert below 19 20 oh, 20 21 22 so that's that there I think that's all good so we'll just escape out of there so that's all good um, all right select one of the cells containing a room number block right click a room number block so I'll go with that one there select one of the cells right click in there and select copy to copy the cell to this to the clipboard copy yes all right leave three open rows after the total area row one two three and paste the block into the cell in the room number column there okay and that will be paste yes which we've done that okay and that's row 15 that's correct select the copied cell and click on the auto autofill grip cyan diamond of the cell drag it to the room number cell of row 21 so that's the cyan diamond there and down to row 21 yep okay and uh, drag as the shown in figure 7 click to copy the block to the next six cells below okay double click in the first new block to open edit block yes okay and double click and click okay in the edit attributes dialog block change the room number to 201 oh yeah okay and change it to 201 oops 201 okay all right modify the rest of the room numbers okay so that's uh, 201 okay that'll be 202 okay this will be 
Okay. This will be two o three. Okay. Okay, here, and this will be 204. Okay, 205. Okay. Okay, and this will be 206. Okay. And two o seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Repeat and copy the autofill process. Okay. Repeat and copy the autofill process for the department and use columns. Uh, repeat the copy and order for the department and use. Do not fill in the area column at this stage. So, what have we got in here? Um, what have we got? Department. Oh, okay, so we want to get that, I guess that. Um, so this here, uh, I'll just hold down the control. No, oh, I'll type this in here. Room number. It goes in there. Oh. In here, you've got department. Okay. Um, I don't know why that room number there is so big. Um, mm. Okay. Department. And we've got the area and use in here. No. Yeah. Okay. That's all good. And. Uh, in here um, we've got um, use okay now there's some seems to be some problems with text styles and things in here but anyway we'll get in here so we'll go engineering like so uh, these are things that can be sorted, so that's got to go, that can cover you all the way down to here. Engineering. And then in here, we've got total area. Okay, alright, so that's all done. And in here, we've got office. And that, oh, that's a, yeah, so there's some, obviously some formatting issues that need to be sorted, but uh, I don't quite know. Oh, set the cell styles as required. So what's the cell style here? Um, obviously not title, it's by the, that one there is it? I don't know what. Um, what's the cell style there? Um, um, cell style. Okay. 
Okay. Not title. Header. No. I don't think that's it there. By row, by column, it seems to be, but. Um, yeah, I don't know if we can. Uh, data format. Uh, yeah, block field formula. Alright, I'm going to leave those. But, um, I'm sure we can work out a way of sorting them out. Save and. Oh, okay, so that's the last little thing that has to be sorted out as these here okay so um oh well there's the cell width and height there um so what we can go with here is see that room 54 by 4 um text height 3 okay so i'm going to do it over here in the properties that one there i'm going to go with a text height there of 3 okay um and um the alignments uh should be middle center there we go okay so that's got that sorted and we can do the same here um i'm gonna go contents varied text height three okay and the um yeah the um yeah where the hell's that location uh so what's so starter oh dear um i just had it there before contents data type format no oh let's have a look um where were these? I'll just have a look at a single one. There. Uh, middle center alignment. So let's go there. Grab those. Alignment. Oh, there it is there. Middle center. That's what we want. Okay. All right. So I think that's got everything um, in, on track. Oh, that there doesn't want any. That there can be um, deleted. Yep. Okay, so there's everything um, how it should be. Um, yeah, so you can uh, do some of the changes over here. You can also change um, cell height. So that, see that, that cell there is, um, the text height is 3. The cell height is 7 for that one, um, where it, it probably could come, whereas this one here, the cell height here is only four. So I think five's probably quite a good size for those little heading ones. So I'm gonna make make that one there five. So yep. And so you can change widths and things there as well. And to be honest, I do a lot of my editing in that area there. Okay, so um, yeah, we're going to save that uh, there. So we've done a little bit of modifying there. Um, so uh, here we go. Save as. Occupancy one there. Save as. Yes. Okay, and then um, close the file. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, and we come back to there, and that's our little journey through modifying tables. Tables, uh, I have to say, have been an area that um, I do have a little bit of trickiness and a little bit of difficulty with, but if you persevere, you will get there, and as you do more of it, you find more and more ways to make the tables do what you want to do <laughs> rather than what they want to do so that's all very well cheers see you